Mouse and Mouse. And now, direct from Main Street, Mickey Mouse. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and welcome to the coolest part of the cartooniverse, our very own House of Mouse. Okay, we've got some great cartoons coming up and the carnivorous sounds of the Jungle Book Vultures. So hang in there. As you know, we're expecting a royal guest. In fact, a king. A king? Ooh, do tell. Will he require special lighting? <laughs> what does he like to eat? King Ho, King Ho, he's King Larry. King Larry? I never heard of King Larry. Who's he? Oh, <laughs> he's King Louis' twin brother, and he looks just like him. Ooh, that means he's royalty, too. <laughs> That's right. So no mess-ups, people. We don't need another international incident. Right, Donald? Uh-oh. <laughs> so, let's review our House of Mouse policy for royal guests. Be polite, well behaved, and address royalty as sir or madam. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Where's the mouse of the house? Where's Mickey? Greetings, royal sir or madam. Slide aside, Clyde. I want to see Mickey. Welcome to my club, your highness. Your club? <laughs> Step aside, Featherbutt. This cat will only talk to the mouse of the house. Oh, dig this crazy tree. Oh, I can see everything from up here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Being the king is a gas. That was the rudest person I've ever had to be polite to. We're just lucky no one was hurt. Huh? I'm sure King Larry's just monkeying around. And you'd better quit monkeying around, too. Remember the show? Oh, my gosh. The show. And now, dig this crazy cartoon. Say, it's my main man Mickey in here. Oh, get a load of this kooky treehouse. Oh, uh, welcome to the control room, Royal King Larry. Control room? Man, that's perfect. I'm out of control. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, as you please, Your Highness. Hey, Flaps, what are we gonna do? I don't know. What do you wanna do? man, where's Mickey Mouse? Where's the double M? Never heard of him. Yeah, Mickey who? Ooh, what you got, man? Let me see. Hey, let me tambourine, you royal ruffian. Get out, you great Harry Oaf. Man, those guys are all day unfair. So, Flaps, what are we gonna do? Blimey, don't start that again. And now, here's a goofy cartoon. <laughs> Skill, bravery, and lots of bandages. Qualities only found in the extreme sportsman. And here is the perfect example of such a man preparing for the extreme sport of paracycling. All that is needed is a bicycle, a parachute, and nerves of steel. Oh, and also a little shove. The extreme sportsman is an excellent bike rider. He speeds toward the edge. Prepares to launch. And there he goes! At this point, there's always time for a few aerial acrobatics. As the ground looms, it's time to activate the parachute. I said, activate the parachute! And you should always open it above you. <laughs> and finally, our paracycler lands like a gentle falling feather. <laughs> that concludes today's Goofy's Extreme Sports. Well. Man of surprise nutcake. <laughs> You'll be fit for a king. Thanks for not eating it, Gus. Where's the mouse? Ooh, boss laundry. Horace, what's wrong? My lips are chapped, there's never enough bandwidth, and gas is still too expensive. No, what's wrong back here? It's King Larry. He's wrecking the whole club. 
My word is, he's a royal pain. You shut up. And look what he did to us. He broke me yellow tambourine. And all our guitars. We can't play without them. Yeah, they're instrumental. Wait, there goes our musical act. Oh, we gotta do something about King Larry. But we can't. We gotta be polite. It's a royal policy. Someone's gotta tell him to behave himself. Don't worry. By someone, I meant me. I'll talk to him. <laughs> King Larry, I hear you're looking for me and messing up my club. I just want to be like you. Well, you're going about it all wrong. If you want to be like me, you'll have to behave yourself. Now, excuse me. <laughs> Here's a cartoon about how to behave. Boom! Country club. Well, I'm country. And I got me a club, too. Howdy, folks! Hmm, what happened? Ever want to join a club that didn't want you for a member? Uh, yeah, just now. To become a member of such an elite and prestigious club, one must become a gentleman. The gentleman's fashion. One must avoid making a fashion statement such as... So get rid of those old rags. My clothes! And explore the true gentleman's wardrobe. Uh, yo, ravishing. <clears throat> a gentleman's wardrobe. Yes, a tuxedo is always classy. Must be half price. The gentleman's elocution. Electrocution? No, 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 no. Elocution, the art of speaking. But I can already speak real good. Well. Well what? For example, how would one greet Her Majesty the Queen? Hiya, Queenie. Hey, Liz. Your royal pain. Ouch. All I said was ouch. One should bow gracefully and say, My dear Queen, how delightful to make your acquaintance. My queer Dean, how delightful to acquaint your maintenance. Mastering a tongue twister is another way to improve diction. The gritty gaucho grabbed his glassy green gargoyle and grappled with the gangly gardener. Why is he doing that? Again, the gritty gaucho grabbed his glassy green gargoyle and grappled with the gangly gardener. Hmm, easy for you. The words were backwards for me. Again? Say, where is this gardener anyway? The gritty gaucho grabbed his glassy green it, gargoyle pal. and grappled with the gangly gardener. <laughs> The gentleman's dining. The next step in becoming a gentleman is learning how to eat. Eat? I know how to do that. One never uses his hands. Finally, the gentleman never leaves until he has eaten everything in front of him. <laughs> Gotta have your iron! <laughs> The gentleman's poise. No matter what, a gentleman always maintains his poise. 
Do your worst. I'm as cool as a cucumber. Bravo! You, my good man, are now as composed as a cucumber. And so we return to where we began. Only now, this simple hayseed has been transformed into a perfect gentleman. No lesson has been left out. No crease has remained unironed. Nothing has been forgotten. Well, I didn't think I had to remind you to put on your pants. It's obvious to me now that a clumsy, naive rube like you could never get into a gentleman's club like that. What was I thinking? You're goofy. <laughs> I'll show you a club. Now, hold on. Hey. Ow. Stop that. Well, that's what I call a gentleman's club. Oh. Well, His Highness certainly is behaving himself now. Too little, too late. And we still don't have a musical act. How about Daisy Capades? I'm okay. Like I said, we still don't have a musical act. Ahem, excuse me. Can I politely suggest a suggestion? Hmm? And now, the House of Mouse proudly presents Larry and Mickey! Thanks for letting us do our show for you, and we'd especially like to thank our musical guest, King Lou! Thank you! And might I say, my main man, Mickey, has some serious glide in his stride. Well, thanks, pal. Come back anytime. Royal guest of the House of Mouse, endorsed by Rafiki. When you just can't wait to be king. Rafiki is available for birthdays, tea parties, holidays, and puppet shows. Yes, get the royal treatment from Rafiki. When you just can't wait to be king. Find out still subject to the do this, be there, stop that, see here, folks. See ya real soon. <laughs>